A become E in the Hebrew language. Sin become Ish. Ishwa, Isa, we say, they say Ishwa. Ishwa. For me, I'm different. So, Elahi, Elahi is the same. Can you just follow up? Yes, please. We're going to get a hadith. Read Every single Allah Bible elaborate. in the Middle East where the Arabic speaking, the Christian Muslim, people, right. they have the word of Allah in the Bible. Right. It doesn't matter. What you're saying is, is God is right. God. We'll God, God. We'll speak. Thank you very much. We'll speak now. So, every single Bible. So, when right. so chapter, the meaning of every child is born in a state of fitra and the ruling of the dead children of the disbelievers and of the Muslims, right? Aisha, the mother of the believers, said. Allah's messenger was called to lead a funeral prayer of a children of child of Ansar, right? I, and I said, Allah's messenger, there is happiness for this child who, the, who is a bird from the birds of paradise for it committed no sin, nor he has reached the age when one can commit sin. He said, Aisha, per adventure, it That's may be otherwise, it right? It may be otherwise because like God created for paradise like those who are fed and, were, and for while, for it while they were yet in their father's loins and created for hell for those who are to go to hell. So he created them for hell while they were yet in the father's loin. So Allah has predestined wow, wow, wow. in the sperm. Whoever will have we a conversation of predestination. Yeah. So come and take a stand now. Because so Allah has predestined. Predestined hell. It's a ridiculous it's argument. They say because God predestined your sign, you don't control your So this is, this is nonsense. This is nonsense. So your, your, your sunnah is a nonsense. 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 Oh, yeah. You just read it. You just said. Your Islam is nonsense. That's why I left. That's why I left. That's why I left. Because Islam is nonsense. Why shine? You don't understand it. Your brain can understand it. Yeah, because people like you, people like you, you are people like you are racist. People like you, people. Yeah. Muhammad was a racist. Muhammad was a racist. Muhammad was a racist. Oh yeah, sure. And Muhammad loved black people. The Muhammad loved black people. Bilal, 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 Raven even when you get to say no, Ethiopian no, he didn't. Oh yeah, yes, yes, Ethiopia. Ethiopians are raising heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so are Ethiopians yeah. raising heads? Yeah. Are Ethiopian raising heads? King, a raising head. They are okay with it. So what? In Jesus you are okay with it. You are okay with it. You okay with it. You are 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 okay with it. You he say things and Muhammad, he does this. Muhammad, he's homophobic. He's not just. He's racist. Okay. Uh, one third of Muslims are black. Oh yeah. Islam is the only religion in the world which is explicitly non-racist. We know from the Islam. The yeah. Sub-Saharan yeah. slave trade. The Sub-Saharan slave trade. Exactly. I would definitely do. So, 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 so Arabs came to Pakistan to Islamize. That's not racism. Yeah. So Arabization is not racism. That's racism. Right? My friend, you love Islam because you don't understand Islam. What was your culture before you went? You must have went. Muslim. I am. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Bismillah. 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 Bismill
talking about? We're talking about it. Parable. He didn't call out. Whether we understand the parable or not, that's not He didn't call out. He didn't call out. He called out at this first surah, yeah. The Bible says, I'm a man in the world. 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 I'm a man in so why do you want a Muslim state right now? You don't want a Muslim state. So don't bring that up as if someone's going to cry. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say, can I go to any Muslim country now? Being an ex-Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. Can I go to any Muslim? Yes. Yes. Of course you can. You can, there's loads. Yes. Are go to sure? Dubai. Go to Dubai tomorrow. Jihad, Jihad. Go wait, to wait, Dubai. wait, wait, wait. Can you show me a verse in the Quran where Jihad God said, if someone become, leave Islam, you should go kill him. Show me. I challenge you. Find me a verse in the Quran where God said, find me a verse in the Quran where God said, if you come out of Islam, you will be punished. So, so it's hadith is not Quran. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Okay. That's hadith is not Quran. Are you atheist or are you Christian? I'm Christian. Wait, wait, wait. It's funny. Wait, wait. Because if you want to apostate these laws, we cannot talk no more. Your arms become mute because we find in the Old Testament the yeah, apostles, you know. And if you want to now yeah, say, no, oh, um, it's, 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 you're saying your own God, your own God, the apostles, you Okay. So you want to get onto so Islam for that? So what? How does that make sense? So your argument doesn't okay. make no sense. Okay, okay. okay. As a Christian, okay, okay. okay. Let me covenant. let me answer. Let me answer you. So. Uh, do we follow the old covenant? Do we follow the new covenant? What do follow we follow? The new covenant. Right? So okay. under the new covenant, do we follow the old covenant now? No, you follow the new covenant. So, 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 wait, so in the old testament okay. is the old covenant, the new testament is okay. new covenant, okay. right? You know what's the equivalent of what you just said? You know, you know what you just said right now? Yeah. It's the equivalent of saying, this is only between the new covenant and the old covenant. Uh, yeah. abrogation. Abrogation. It's like saying, Allah abrogate, God only uh, became important the day Jesus Christ was, uh, came down as, uh, incarnated as a man. So before Jesus Christ came down incarnated as a man, was God important then? Was the Old Testament important then? Yeah. Yes? So if it's in the Old Testament and God has said it himself, for you to critique uh, blasphemy laws, you are doing blasphemy of your own God. That's the joke. That's the joke. You understand covenant? Can you not shout me here, please? I'm talking civilly. I'm talking civilly. I'm talking civilly. I'm I'm talking talking civilly. Wait, but don't, uh, don't I respect you. I'm not speaking loud. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> Just tell me what you said, right? You understand what I said? Okay, cool. I'm oh, he's not understand that. See that? Because you know the thing is, if you can understand your religion as a Christian, you cannot talk about many things. You can't talk about slavery, you can't talk about concubines, you cannot talk about apostasy laws. If you do talk about as a Christian, it only shows you're ignorant of your own religion. Maybe like a liberal that disguises himself as a Christian. That's not about Christianity. But if you're a real Christian, you would never say that. Because when you are saying the apostasy laws, is there's something terribly wrong with it. You have blasphemed your own God because we find it in the Bible. You don't understand what I'm saying, bro. Let the guy talk himself. I'm talking to him. Why is the question? No, 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 bro, bro, he's new in the face, so we can, we have to like jump in. Nah, no, come on, one on one. I'm not talking about the one. He's this guy's intelligent man. I said I'll stop talking in your face. Tell them as well. Please respect my brother. Show the same respect. I'll be quiet. Tell them to be quiet. Did he have us to talk to you? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's alright. So, in the new covenant, yeah. It tells me to love everyone, right? It tells me to love everyone. Yeah. So, do you think in my new covenant, when God has, when God has said that Mount of the Sermon in Matthew chapter five, six, and seven, yeah. it talks about the sermon, the laws that we are given as in the new covenant, right? That's what we follow, right? So, does it say anywhere that we need to follow the apostasy law anymore? It does not, right? So, which is why we don't follow the apostasy law anymore. But on the other hand, as for the New Old Testament, I understand your reasoning that you also, because you read the Old Testament, so you also adhere to it because it's the word of God as an inspiration of God, basically. Yeah, yeah. I understand your reasoning, yeah. but when we are told that he has come to fulfill the law, yeah. so he has given us a new law to live by when okay. Jesus came on earth. Okay. So that's the laws we live by now, basically, right? Okay. And also, yeah. when I I want to resonate with you, because why, so my understanding is, 
even though you deny it or you disagree or whatever you want to say, I understand. But my point towards is Islam, why did I leave? So can you imagine? Just so reason so, so behind so just, on. just reason just reasoning just reasoning with you okay. of when you talk about exorcism and everything else, right? Or now I'm a Christian of this and this. I can understand. Would do you do you do you think you can reason or do you can you actually be okay with someone marrying a six year old? Okay. And can you be okay with that? Okay. In all honesty, being a man, being okay. a father as well, are you okay with that? Okay. Do you know what I'm asking him. I'm asking, I'm asking him. him. According, him. According to the Quran. I'm asking him. Hey, then no one's interrupting you and I'm interrupting. Okay. I'm talking to him, please. You know Thank you. 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 you know you should right now? You asked me an emotional question. Uh, you didn't ask a rash question, you didn't say is it right or wrong. You said to me, what do I think about it? What is my preference, right? I just want to demark that, that you're not talking about um, right or wrong no more. Now you're talking about my preference. Just the same way when you're just talking about apostasy laws, right. when I showed you as a Christian, you have no right, zero, if you understand my religion, to talk about it. Because like we blaspheme right. on God. I'll talk to him, sister, please. Just so, a so, just a so the point I'm making is, right? We can go down the tropes yeah. of Islam, and I can do the same with Christianity, right? But what I would say is, that is a dishonest question, right? Because even, okay. even no matter which way the question goes, it would not debunk or disprove the notion that we Muslims believe that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was a messenger of God. That's what I'm very interested in. Is the religion true? Not what do I like, what it does like. See what I'm okay. saying? So that's what I'm saying. So I'll, we can go down the road if you want to. But for example, just like the apostasy laws, when he said, ah, oh, as, as a Christian, we only follow the new covenant and we believe in love and we have to follow all this old stuff. Well, guess what? The Christians in the last few centuries do not believe that. If you go to canon law, if you go to the history of Christianity, when they had political power, not like right now, they didn't believe that. They instituted, sorry, they institutionalized apostasy laws because they didn't have the interpretation that you had. Because they understood it was in the Old Testament, for example. So, this idea of like, Christianity, anything you want to say about Islam right now, whether it's child marriage, whether it's slavery, whether it's concubines, whether it's apostasy laws, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is in your own tradition. So you cannot talk about it. If you want to talk about, um, child marriage, we can start talking about Christian history and see what they have done, right? And you will realize that was an institution that is age old and has only changed in the West recently with the Industrial Revolution, with the capability of people being able to have a 12 year vocation, with people, you know, we can go into the sociological as to why it's the case, right? But we are saying it's not a deep bunk of Islam. I would encourage you to ask questions about actually is Islam true or not, rather than try to make Jesus or okay. Muhammad look bad. Okay, That's fair my enough. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll listen to you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll let you jump in, but I'm going to say one thing there. So, when Jesus, in in first century, so uh, in, during his lifetime, he has given a sermon and he has said that you offend a child, it's better for you to kill himself. Right? Say that again? Jesus talks about, yeah. it's, it's, sorry, uh, Jesus talks about that you, if you offend a child, yeah. you'd rather kill yourself. Jesus talks, I understand you don't believe in that. Okay. okay. Yeah? The guy's intelligent man, let's speak for himself, bro. He doesn't even comment to you, bro. Okay, I'm, 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 right? Yeah. So Jesus uh, tells to, for it be better for the person to put a noose around his neck on a millstone and throw a cast him then cast himself down in the deepest dark ocean and kill himself, right? To, rather than to offend a child. So that's what he should do. But then seven centuries later, yeah. how does God change his mind? Okay. So if if someone is offending a child, okay. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use any any bad language here because we are having a very similar, a good discussion you, here, right? That. So I'm not gonna abuse or say anything in that way. Yeah. But I'm saying, so it's seven to six centuries later, it's okay for someone to marry a six-year-old, but even though, okay, fine, people might have done it. Okay. People might have done it. People in the Old Testament might have done it. But, okay. but, 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 but the man in the question that we are talking over here is the actual prophet of, of and, the, and, the, and the one, uh, like prophet of Islam, basically, okay. right? So we're talking about him here. Okay. So is it, so is it any, any, any sorry, can you rationalize in a way that a God changed his mind six years, six centuries later, that it's okay to, for for this to happen now. Okay. How 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 does that work? I don't know. Okay. Do you know what the problem is? Okay. You're falling on from a false premise, right? False you, premise. Let, let, let me tell you. If the critique, if you let's go. So I'm enjoying the conversation. Let me talk to this guy, please. So if he came from. Yeah, I, I'm a brother. Okay, brother. Let's just ask to talk about right. So what I would say is. 
if you're still stuck in this marriage thing, right? You've acknowledged that it happened in the Old Testament, right? I don't need to go in there, right? I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what sect you follow up for, but for example, if you're Catholic, then you would not celebrate to, because they were to bring Rebecca in and the Catholic in, 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 in supply to be. But put it, put it aside, right? The time of Jesus Christ himself, we know that child marriage was rampant. If you even go back in this country 100 years ago and you look at the time of people get married, so is it good? it's a big difference. Sister, 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 you can sister, talk for himself, okay, man. He doesn't need chill leaders, man. So, in the time of Jesus Christ, when he was alive, we know that child marriage was rampant around the time in, in, in Jerusalem where he lived, right? Now, the question would be, why do we not find nothing against Christianity denouncing it? In all of Old Testament, New Testament, we have no minimum age of marriage, we have no condemnation of child marriage, and we know the time of Jesus Christ that around him there was everywhere child marriage, but he never says nothing about it. Your God apparently, Google God himself, so we find an Old Testament and when God was on earth, God didn't say nothing about it, he was all around him. He got condemned it. Not one verse of the Bible can find. So that's what I'm saying you follow from the false premise. Because you're presuming that child marriage is a wrong thing, right? And guess what? That is a liberal critique. Okay. But you're not liberal, you're a Christian. So I want you to critique it from your point of view. Right. So when when we talk about offending a child, how broad would the spectrum be in that regard? How, how broad do you think the spectrum can go when it talks about offending a child? I would say that Aisha Ranilaha was very happy to marry Prophet himself. He was a if you want to talk about from a side uh, point of view, you're not a high value guy. Whatnot. This guy's literally a messenger of God, right? He's a general, he's this. And if you look at her, how she turned out, if you're going to make a philosophical argument about morality and how it's consequentially wrong, that's not going to work because she's a scholar of Islam. She's one of the most cool people in the whole religion. She's very highly rated. So this idea of this marriage somehow affected her negatively and stuff like that, you've got no evidence for it. Actually, with evidence to the contrary, she turned out to be a very important person, person in history. So if you're going to make an argument of it's wrong, tell me why. Because there's nothing from the Christianity or the Bible or kind of law that you can bring up. So you science, you suffer. Tell me why there's stuff wrong with marriage. Did you hear? Offending a child, so offending, even sexually offending a child. Do you not see the point it's making? Offending a child, and you, 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 you're literally reasoning with me. Or that it's okay for the, for the, for someone to marry a six-year-old and then have sex with her when she's nine. Is it? As okay, a, let's, let's, okay. Let's, let's, let's even emotionally, even, 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 even today, there's people before they're born, their parents have already arranged marriage for them, and when they get old enough and they get uh, mature, they get married. Is it immoral? I tell people now they can't, they can't do it. You, can't, you tell someone what you need to do with your own child? From where, where, where's that critique coming from? Because you know that's nonsensical. Just because she got a pre arranged marriage when she's young, which is at that time the norm. And she got married at a time that we know she was past puberty. She was meant to be sure, as we know she was a scholar, and she was right from young. And also, her own parents were involved in it. Where is the harm? Where is the wrong? It sounds to me like you're coming from a, once again, a little point of view where you see the random age of 18 here, 15 in America, 21 in Italy, 12 years old there. Depending on what time zone, and you're a pedophile or you're of age, with arbitrary standards, you have to prove it, you have to establish that that is true. I told you already, you have got no Christian critique, so give me any scientific critique, or historical critique, or something like, because you don't have none, I tell you right now. It's just emotional argument to try to smear a puppet. It's not a man who says pass a flower in the so the Bible does address it. Bro, well, trust me, you don't need help from me. You're a smart guy. You don't I mean, need help, trust why, me. Why should we, the Bible says we should pour in two. You know, like the first Corinthian, as he's mentioning, first Corinthians chapter seven, verse thirty-six says, But if any man think that he believeth himself and comely towards his virgin, if she has the flower of her age and need so required, let him do what he will. He sinneth not, let them marry. But the thing is, but the thing is, but the thing is, okay, but you, you know, mentioned... You know, you, know, you know, if I start open the Bible, and I start talking about the Bible okay. says about women, okay. it's going to get sticky. You know that? Like right now, I tell you, something's out of the Bible. If all you're going to say to me, all you're going to say to me is, all you're going to say to me is, Paul abrogated the old, right. the New Testament, order, which you can establish yourself again. Like, I want a sincere critique. Why does anything wrong with child marriage? If you don't, do you accept that as a right-wing trope, a stereotype? We use okay. this made a prophet, which does not debunk religion of Islam. Islam makes more sense to Christianity in every single way. Why do we talk about that? Okay. Why do we talk about that? Okay. Why do we talk about that? Okay. Okay. Religion, truth, there's one oh, right. In this all country, right, all right, there was right. a king that married a seven-year-old. How can we not follow the king? We follow Jesus.
Even if it is okay, of any kind, any kind. Okay, but the, the thing is, you, you mentioned in Rigi. Just a sec, guys. Just a sec. Ceasefire. Thank you. Brother, 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 please. Just a sec. Just a sec. A civil discussion. Thank you. Please. So the thing is, you said in regards to uh, what do you call it? The age, age has, has not been an issue at that time, at those times, right? But the thing is, as a man of God, right? If you understand, like a nine-year-old, it can affect you psychologically. Can did it? Do, did it? We know everything about her life. Did it? Do you know, know, do you know everything it? about her life? We know a lot about her life. She's one of the most documented people in the world. But who documented her life? Do you know about Hadith traditions? I know about Hadith. Do you know about Sirius? Do you not know about Islam? Do you not know, like most of how meticulous we are? The reason why Christians have so many critiques of Islam is because we have everything detailed in our tradition. We have a very rich tradition, which Christians don't have, by the way. So we know a lot about her life. We know where she was born, her parents, where she died. We know so much about her. Tell me the damage. Show me the damage. She's a scholar. She will love her. Is there, but you don't want to believe it. That's all. rich people in history. Where's the damage? Brother, I would honestly say, with all hand on my heart, yeah. it was a good discussion, <laughs> but what I would tell you, that I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely ask you to have a deep think. Okay. Right? That's all I'm going to say. I understand your point of views. You might, you, you might, you might curse me or whatever you might think. But I'm, but I'm just saying, whatever you might think of me, but have a think of what I've said to you. I have not. I have come to you in a very reasonable manner. I have not. I have not. I have not come to you in any aggression. I believe you. But the thing is, because I've not even abused or cursed whatever or whoever you follow right because at the end of the day the, the regard is if you if you understand my point yeah. it's just coming from a very 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 humble nature here you know i actually believe you because of your mannerism and the way you talk and you're very like you seem like a nice guy so i'm gonna say something to you if you ever critique islam from a liberal position and you say I'm atheist or I don't believe in religion and whatnot but I feel this is wrong based on and then I can tell you why is that wrong you can talk about United Nations human rights charter you can talk about science you can talk about this and we can have a discussion based on those bases because now you're standing on beliefs right but my <laughs> point is simply that that critique there is dishonest coming from a Christian like I said you're saved by slavery saved by concubine some of these people say because I don't think it's see like some of these Christians like the lady here is. they say anything hateful they want to attack and attack and attack but they don't care about defending their own religion you don't seem like that you seem to say you seem intelligent you seem like if you want to attack Islam show me why the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was not a prophet why he was a hypocrite why he was just doing it for money why he was then I would say my heart will shake I'm like yo this guy is a fool, you know what I'm trying to say? But when you're just defending these, these I can, because I can do the exact same vice versa. If I go to the Christian history and Christian practices and Christian disinterpretation, I can do why is this person this? Why is this? But it's not really getting to the truth of is Jesus Christ God? Is Christianity true? It doesn't really attack that. Even if I concede, we're talking about a semen on a garment, right? Like, it does not. He wants a poor question. This guy, kind of Mission of God, is the Quran true? Is the religion true? I suggest you critique yourself on that basis. And then you honestly, no double standards, compared to Christianity, and Judaism, and Buddhism, whatever you want to do. And you come to a smart man, a rational decision. What makes more sense in the light of history, in the light of prophecy, in the light of scientific claims, in the light of um, contradictions, in the light of. You can do so long catch this. And we come with honest assessment and say, if this is true religion, I've chosen it based on a rational basis. I look into it. Try to wrap this up because we're going to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is that fair enough, what I said? It was a, it was, it was a good conversation. It was a conversation because none of our conversation. Yeah, you were the hateful, I was the hateful. There was none of this animosity. This is a sincere intellectual conversation and I commend you for that. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Same to you, but the but thing is, if once I get to learn more, yeah. we will have more discussions. Yeah. For Please sure. look at Prophet Muhammad's opinion, right? And we Muslims, we love Jesus Christ. We love Mary. She was a virgin. We don't talk about it. But we, Allah says in the Quran, do not cut off people's gods, for they will curse yours. So we're not even meant to be like, hey, like, attacking you. Do you get it? See the same manners you have right now, this very professional, 
cold, the rational point of view, I really appreciate it. Don't become like certain Christian apart. Who I think are theatrical, they're performative. They care more about the crowds and the cameras and the views and whatnot than actually making sense. They actually don't. That's, you, that's why I came to you and the group Yeah, you come, like I said, you seem com 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 sincere. Nice it's to meet you, man. What's your name? Faisal. What's your face? Francis. 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 Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. Take care. Amen. 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 Yeah. So guys, at the end of the day, uh, what I would say is that I tried having a humble discussion with someone. Uh, I did try reason with them, but all I would say is that I that they have their understanding, they have their faith, but no matter no matter in what context I was trying to speak in that regard, I need to learn more and address more situations and have more and have more humbleness in me and try giving more reasonings and more arguments and, and have a civil debate. This is all I would like to say. Thank you so much. God bless.